This is a little California sea lion pup who is extremely emaciated. You can see the rib, the ribs and the backbone, really very skinny, and he needs to be in a temperature controlled area. So he's being fed, tube fed five times a day. He's on pretty strong antibiotics. He also has pneumonia. We took him in for an x-ray the other day. He's got severe pneumonia on top of the emaciation. So we're just gonna pour this in here. Sometimes these little guys, they don't, um, you know, they get away from their mom and they just haven't honed in on their hunting skills. Yeah. Or if they do have pneumonia, it's hard for them to stay under the water for great periods of time to dive for their fish. Okay, well this guy's not so little. He's 223 pounds. This is a California male sea lion. And you can see he's got a little tiny bump on his head. The adult males actually have a really distinct, it's called a sagittal crest. And it's a really big bump. As they get older, it gets kind of bigger and a little grayer, just like we get a little grayer as we get older. And he was found down in San Clemente um, down um, yesterday. And he's pretty dehydrated. So no interest in fish yet. So what we'll do is let him rest and then later this afternoon, we'll probably do some fluids just underneath his skin. The tube feeding? We're not gonna tube feed him yet. We're gonna do what's called subcutaneous fluids, which is um, putting electrolytes. Like people get IVs. Well, it's really hard to find a vein on these guys. So we just right. do it underneath the skin. We pinch their skin and the needle just goes underneath it. And then we've got some more California sea lions here. And these are all about a year old. So you can kind of see the various size. You've got, you know, right. the smaller so ones, cute. the adult, and then the adult male growing into a bigger adult males. So these guys are quite the characters. <laughs> they're very rambunctious. These look pretty healthy, so they're all fish fed in here. They're all fish fed. They all dive together in their pool. Um, they still have a lot of weight to put on. You can still kind of see oh. this little guy's rib cage right. here, the, the uh. spine. Complaining they want more fish. <laughs> Out of all the animals that you have, what's the average time it takes to release an animal back to the, the ocean? Typically it takes about two to three months, especially for the younger ones, because they come in so skinny to get that extra weight back on them. Yeah. 